Thank you, folks. My next guest has uh, been called the king of 25 words or less. He has been entering contests for over 60 years and has won several cars, several encyclopedia sets, and over $50,000. This is his latest book. I'm sorry, this is his latest of 20 books, How to Make and Sell Original Crossword Puzzles. Uh, welcome, please, William Sunners, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, Have a seat, if you will. Uh, I was uh, uh, excited, well, not excited, but uh, interested to, to learn that, that you are the creator of a very famous, well-known slogan. I am the creator of a few famous slogans. All right, tell us the ones. Uh, which one do you want? Uh, <laughs> start, well, just start out with the, the most famous one. All right, I created a slogan called, A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. That's one of them. Uh, was that uh, in conjunction with a contest? No, there was a meeting of the National Contestors Association in 1937, and they wanted slogans for the newly formed organization. And there must have been at least 200 people who competed, and I submitted two slogans. And they selected both of mine to be on the masthead, the letterheads, and the publications of the National Contestors Association. Mm -hmm. What was the other uh, slogan? A, uh, the other one was, every member a winner, and every winner a member. So it's actually similar to the, to right. the other one. Yeah. They, they call that a balanced yeah. slogan. All right, let's, let's talk about uh, entering contests and so forth. What is the difference now between a contest and a sweepstakes? In a sweepstakes, luck wins. 90% luck and 10% know-how. In a contest, it's the reverse. It's 90% know-how and 10% know-how. <laughs> and, and every winner a member, every member a winner. Right. Yep. All right. Now, uh, there aren't many really contests left, are they? Very few today because sweepstakes are very popular. And they're easier to facilitate, aren't they? It's not only easier to participate in, but it's easier to pick a winner. Yeah. And the reason why sweepstakes are popular, those who have no education, no experience, they can win right. in a sweepstake. All right, I want you to give us some, some tips now. I see Ed McMahon talking about he will personally award this giant prize in a sweepstakes. Now, what are some ways to improve your chances in a nationwide sweepstakes? Well, I wrote a book called How to Win Prize Contests. And in there, I touch on sweepstakes. I also have a correspondence course. I'm giving myself a plug. Mm -hmm. You don't okay. mind. No, go right ahead. Go right and, ahead. Uh, in my correspondence course, I tell people exactly how to win in various contests. Okay. Now, there's the first lesson. Lesson number one, read every word of this lesson carefully. All of the information and material contained herein is included so that you may become proficient in the art of competing for prizes in various types of contests in all sections of the country. Ed McMahon will personally award this giant prize. Uh, all right, but give some folks who want to enter one of these a couple of tips now. Uh, a contest of skill or a sweepstakes. A, uh, sweepstakes. Well, the first thing you must do, number one, obey all the rules. As insignificant. <laughs> Oh, you'd be surprised how, how many entries are discarded uh -huh. because people do not obey the rule. Yeah. They overlook something obvious? Or... If, they, if the rules say, use a three by five piece of paper, don't use four by six. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. Now, now, what about when somebody is uh, like, I don't know, a million people enter a sweepstakes? How can you make sure that your card might get chosen? Well, there are various ways to outwit or outsmart or overcome the laws of chance. Don't mail all your entries at one time in one mailbox. Scatter them in various mailboxes in different parts of the city so your entry is placed in different mailbags. Mm -hmm. Because you never know from which mailbag your entries may be selected. 
you must also understand the mechanics of selection of entries. Yeah. Okay. And they're, they're very complicated at times. Uh, so, uh, uh, would you want to explain the mechanics of selection, or did you just do that? I... Well, there were... Uh... <laughs> no, I, I don't mean it to be funny, but it, is, it can get very complicated, can't it? It's not as complicated as you think it is. Okay. Uh, the, idea is to, <laughs> the idea is to get your entry into different mailbags. Yeah. <laughs> because... All right, William, uh, we have to go away for a commercial, but we'll be right back and we'll continue okay. talking with you. <laughs> Back with uh, William Sunners, uh, who has. Uh, now, could you make a living entering contests like this, William? I don't think anybody makes a living at entering contests. Mm -hmm. they you've, must done, you've done quite well, though, haven't you? Oh, I did uh, very well over the years. Yeah. I started way back when I was a kid in high school. What was the first contest you entered? The first contest I ever entered was a uh, sort of uh, slogan writing contest, and uh, it had to do with. Uh, various items. Do you remember the slogan that you uh, sent in? Well, it wasn't exactly a slogan. It uh, had something to do with, um, gee, I forget the uh, particular item. Uh, well, it's not important. Whatever, if you can, <laughs> just any, any uh, aspect of the slogan, that you, your first submission. My, my first submission, if I remember correctly, was about, um, oh, it had to do with, um, it, um, it's totally blank, I... Uh, That's all right, we'll come back, we'll come back to it. But yeah, you just recently won a contest for a recipe, right? Oh, I won, uh, it was a, a sort of recipe. Yeah. <laughs> and what was the recipe? It had to do with, um, Gee, I'm, I'm uh, slipping up. It was, uh, the, this is the, uh, the tuna. The oh, the uh, tasty tuna. Yeah. Uh, it was a recipe, and uh, I won a, uh, a set of carving knives, yep. a complete set. There's more than that. Yeah. Now, uh, but what do you, now the point is, you probably don't know a lot about creating recipes. How can a person who enters a contest like this uh, give themselves advantages so they you can take win? take an old recipe and give it a new title and submit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and that seems to work pretty well, huh? It works all the time. Now, you've actually been barred from entering certain kinds of I've been barred. You? Yeah, why? Now, how do they find out that it's you, and what do they tell you when you enter? I don't know, but there are magazines that publish stories about winners, and they publish stories about me. Mm -hmm. And evidently, the sponsors of one contest heard about me, and when I entered that contest, they barred me. Yeah. Is that fair? Legal? Can they do that? It may not be legal, and it may not be fair, but it's done. Yeah. Um, now, what about a contest that you see there is a famous brand of whiskey that uh, in, a, in a print ad indicates that they have buried a case of the same whiskey someplace, and then they kind of give you little clues and so on and so forth. Is that anything that you could there was, tell us about? There was a contest of that nature. They, it wasn't uh, whiskey exactly, <laughs> but they buried it. <laughs> they did bury it. <laughs> And they expected you to find the place where they buried it. Right, right. And uh, I guessed that they buried it near... Oh, what's that place where they gamble out like there? <laughs> Las Vegas. That's, uh, that's the place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How would you know? Uh, I don't know. Now, uh, again, let's, let's go back to this. If somebody really wants to improve their chances in, in a contest, which is some skill required in winning a contest or a sweepstakes give us a couple of pointers that folks who may you know enter them all the time well I always have three pointers and I hope I don't forget them right now <laughs> <laughs> now one pointer is there are three of them they all begin with the same letter it's a mnemonic device 
and I'm trying to recall what they are. And this is certainly an embarrassing moment. I know what you're talking about. It's, uh, it's, uh, they begin with the letter O. That's right. Yeah. It begins with the letter O. Yeah. That is correct. And One is obey the rules. Obey the rules. Right. Yeah. And, uh, the other is, letter O, obey the rules. We had, I had them this afternoon. One is often enter. Enter often, that is correct. Yeah, often enter. And the third one? It slipped my mind. <laughs> uh, what is the third one, Gerard? Organize your material. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I'm a pretty good teacher. <laughs> we'll be right back, William. We gotta go away, but we'll be right back, sir. It was uh, a pleasure meeting you, sir. Uh, the continued is mine. success with your uh, contests. Uh, the book is called How to Make and Sell Original Crosswords and Other Puzzles by William J. Sunders. Come back and see us again. Nice talking with you, sir. Uh, also, uh, uh, Mr. Michael Binder, who is to be with us tonight, will be rescheduled. My apologies to Michael. We'll see you tomorrow night, folks. Thank you.